everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA. Just wanted to bring you to work with us again on another job. This is 2015 July, and we're installing subsurface drip irrigation. Now, why is my voice raised so loudly? Is because we actually have the machine on, and I'm gonna show you this, come and follow me. So, check this out. landscape job, you do not have to take out your lawn. All you have to do is renovate your lawn. And here it is, we did not take the lawn out. You can follow it. Now this is what it looks like, the machine looks like, when, it's, when it does its thing. any overspray it doesn't get on the house but more importantly this kind of sprinkler system it's the rainbird copper shield technology will save you over 50 percent water doesn't get any better than that i'm telling you you've got to look into it i made other youtube videos in fact um we did the uh, and i uh we did the the planters last week and then now we're doing now check this out when we do planters there's a there it is, but you cover it with mulch, and then you don't see it. The reason you cover it with mulch is because mulch looks beautiful, it retains the moisture, it has mycorrhiza, which is beneficial for the uh, beneficial bacteria for the for the plants, uh, and it's just it just absolutely looks gorgeous. Uh, on grass, we go underneath the ground, and then we put an air relief valve. We put a filter. In fact, let's go walk over to where the filter is. Here's, there's the air relief valve right there, a little guy. And the reason we put an air relief valve is for the simple reason that every time the system goes on, if there's water, the whole sit in the law, if there's air in the line and water pushes through at a high velocity, it goes poof, and the whole system will keep doing that every day, poof, 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 over hot hundreds of times or thousands through the years, it'll wear your system out. So we put the air relief valve so it'll let all the air out when the water comes in. These are the valves. These are the Rainbird 30 PSI, 30 pounds per square inch. A little tiny debris and we've only put this in last week. So that gets, that's how easy it is. And these are the special, notice here if you, we have one valve that's regular valve that's actually, um, for a very small area, actually this is the one for the small area, it's the Rainbird LFV, low flow valve, it's for the planter area. When you don't have too much of an area to feed uh, drip irrigation to, then you should use one of these because if you don't, if you use a regular valve, chances are that valve over time may not shut off and then your valve may be on for 24 hours or 48 until you figure out that this thing isn't shutting off, and it, so you use the right valve. Uh, for this right here is for the grass, it's a longer stretch, so you don't need to use that valve. Um, we are, uh, and that's it. We're gonna put some clean outs so that um, in about a year, at the very end of the line, these things are 99% efficient. 1% will get into line. At the end of the line, you put a clean out, so you open it up, turn the valve on, flush out anything that's there, and then close it back up, close your valve, and you're good for the next year. Mike with Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.